What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Cut to the side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only pick the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, 12 23 2022, 3.21 p.m. I hope, hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do. Who? Uh, on this wonderful holiday season, if you celebrate the holidays. Okay, so I received a channeling. Um, I'm going to put it out. I hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do, who? Um, I just want to say this real quick before we get into the reading, because this is about fraud, and it reminds me of, um, well, it's fraud, uh, is what this is. But just for people that don't know, um, y'all know I recently uh, started a new job and all that. And um, uh in professional fields like nursing and other professional fields, you have to have background checks run. So um, I had to obviously have a background check run for this one, right? Well, um, there were two addresses, and this is just my situation. I can only speak on my situation, not anybody else's. But my situation when I um, got a background check back for um, this job, which it was fine, um, point wise and, you know, otherwise wise and I'm employed and working and all that but there was two addresses on my background check report that was not correct um, they were not addresses I've ever lived at ever a day in my life and I researched one of them and ironically it was one of my ex-boyfriend's parents home which is weird as hell the other one was uh, a house two houses down I used to live at um, which is a house I rented, but it was two houses down from the house I rented in the same rental area. So whatever. Um, but my point is, is you have the right to dispute. For anybody who doesn't know, on your credit report, if you have a background check um, run um, and you, you have a background check run, you have the right to dispute any false information on there, okay? Um, so, uh, of course, it's different for each background check company, but for this background check company, there was a specific number to call and dispute. So I called and disputed those two addresses that I have never lived at before, which one was an ex, an ex-boyfriend's parents' house. That was one. And one was a neighbor, two houses down from me in a rental subdivision in Hazel Green, Alabama, which is weird as hell. So... I called and disputed those is what I'm trying to say. So, but my point is, as we have rights, we have rights. And one of the rights is if something is not correct on your background check, you have the call, you have the right to dispute it. So just to let everybody know if you do not know that, okay? It should be clear on uh, when you receive your copy of your background check report and all that, telling you your rights and all that. But I just wanted to make everybody aware and clear okay um like i said i filed the dispute today i filed it today and um it's processing because i don't i've never lived at those addresses and why an ex-boyfriend's parents house is one of them it makes me wonder if they tried to fraud me or did fraud me in some shape form or fashion which is really terrible if they did i don't know but um i just wanted to put that out there okay all right so the channel message I received was, um, someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard someone's getting a huge wake-up call just now. One of you guys is getting a huge wake-up call. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. I don't know, somebody's getting a huge wake-up call. So the channel message I received was, um, a cancer and a Pisces through many series, uh, many shocking, shocking series of chain of events. A cancer and a Pisces. Um, they're about to be exposed for fraud soon. Um, I heard they're about to get negative legal communication after the, they are, uh, after they're exposed for fraud, they're about to get negative legal communication for the exposure of fraud. Um, and there will be heavy legal issues there. So you plug it in, how it resonates. What kind of Cancerian and Pisces, um, they have Cancer or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Thome, and Henry, Jupiter, Charts. You plug in, how it resonates. It's a Cancer masculine and a Pisces feminine. A cancer masculine and a Pisces femme. So a cancer masculine and a Pisces femme. They could have cancer. The cancer masculine could have cancer in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Manhattan with Jupiter charts. Pisces could have 
Pisces and our Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Manhattan at Jupiter charts. Um, they're about to be, through many shocking series of chain events, they're about to be exposed for fraud. So it hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming in the universe. They're about to be exposed. And once they're exposed, I heard um, there's going to be negative um, legal issues. Hopefully, their ass gets put in jail. Hopefully, but I didn't hear that. But if it is jail or not jail, I mean, because that's a federal offense, fraud is, and that's just the truth. Um, but hopefully, they go to jail and prison to learn a lesson, and that's just the truth. Um, but they're about to be exposed for fraud. However, whatever the legal issues are and how that applies, okay? Um, I hope it's jail. I didn't hear jail. But you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Cancer masculine, Pisces fam. They're about to ever regret messing with you in the past. They're about to ever regret messing with you in the past. So whoever you are, this Cancer Masculine and Pisces Femme, they're about to ever regret messing with you in the past. Poverty, number 37, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 37, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 37, poverty, upright. And an Earth sign, Masculine, heavy torn energy. He is going through it for Section 8 voucher fraud. Someone really needs to hear this. You are connected to this Taurus masculine. Okay, so an earth sign masculine with heavy Taurus in his chart. So Taurus masculine. Uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo masculine with heavy Taurus. So two or two plus placements of Taurus. He's, um, he's in, in some kind of Section 8 voucher fraud situation. Um, our, it is not going well for him and it will continue not to. Okay, I heard it's not going well for him and it's going to continue not to. So he's in some kind of Section 8 voucher fraud situation. Heard it's not going well for him. It's going to continue not to go well for him. So, um, and one of you got, I guess, the Cancer Masculine or the Pisces Femme or you, person that they frauded you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, Somebody needs to hear the fact that um, he's going through hard times. I heard it's not going to go well for him. Uh, I think he's already been exposed for Section 8 voucher fraud, or he's about to be. How that resonates and applies. Poverty upright. And people that stole money from a feminine energy in the past to pay for homes and vehicles and other things. Some of them are about to lose their homes and some are about to lose their vehicles. They cannot afford it. This is about to be their karma. Okay, so for one year of feminine energy. Okay, so we have fraud in here. These two frauded. They're about to be exposed in legal issues. We have the Taurus masculine going through Section 8 voucher fraud issues, who, however he's connected to you. We have um, a fem energy that was stole from and by many, many, many people. Okay, so fem energy was stole from by many people, so much so that they bought vehicles and homes and very expensive things they cannot afford with her money. Um, but through many series of chain events, they're about to have things repoed homes or vehicles or what have you, what have you, because I heard they're, they bought way too expensive, they cannot afford it. So even though they stole money from you, Fem Energy, if this resonates for you, they can't afford the note or the mortgage or what have you, what have you on it, or the utilities or what have you, what have you, because they bought way too expensive, even and they stole your money anyways. So I heard that's going to be their negative karma, the rep repossession of the vehicles, the foreclosure of the home or homes or the properties or what have you, what have you. They're about to be in poverty because they made their free willing choice to steal from you. One, and two, they bought way too expensive of on stolen money. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's really terrible. A lot of these people are about to have to move in with their parents soon or with a friend. There's about to be a lot of repossessed homes and vehicles soon. Okay, Fem Energy, if you're the one they stole from, 
Um, just know a lot of these people are about to have to move back in with their parent or parents or friend or friends because they cannot, they're about to get their stuff repossessed basically um, because they cannot afford it. Um, how that resonates at a plus, either a vehicle, a home or homes or both. Uh, but it doesn't sound like it's paid off. It sounds like um, they're paying on it and they just cannot afford it. But they should have never stole the money from you anyways. And that's just the truth. Some of these people are about to expose a Libra feminine and a Scorpio masculine once their stuff gets repossessed. To the feds. And it's going to cause a huge federal investigation upon them. Okay, I heard some of these people, once they get their stuff repossessed, um, their vehicle or homes i can't even say it's theirs it's not even theirs because they sold your money to do it ma'am and that's just the truth so it's really not even theirs um they think it is though because they sold money to do it but once they get their stuff repossessed either their vehicle or home or homes or both um uh, i heard um they are going to um uh some of them are going to go to federal agents so feds um I don't know if it's Federal Trade Commission um, or calling FBI or, I mean, I don't know what the agency of the federal um, federal agency that is. Um, um, and report a Scorpio masculine and a Libra femme. Um, and I heard it is not going to go well for them. Not going to go well for them. Huge ass criminals. Okay, I heard it's not going to go well for the Libra femme or the Scorpio masculine. They're huge ass criminals. So after these people get their home, the homes repossessed or the vehicles repossessed off stolen money from you, ma'am, um, they are going to go make a report on the Scorpio masculine or the Libra femme to the feds. I, I, th I mean, well, whoever they call, whether it's the regular FBI number or Federal Trade Commission or whoever, whoever, whoever. But I heard once they do, they report this Scorpio masculine, Libra femme or both. I heard it's going to go not go well for these two. There's going to be a huge federal investigation with these people. There's going to be a huge federal investigation for these people. There's going to be a huge federal investigation for these people. I heard it's not going to go well for them. Um, however, that resonates and applies. Um, they help them steal the money. They help them steal the money. Okay, I heard these people help these people steal the money from you, ma'am, to buy the home or homes and the vehicle or vehicles. Um, wow. It's falling apart, and it's falling apart in a huge way. And Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard it's falling apart and falling apart in a huge way, and Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call. So this whole shindig is falling apart in a huge-ass way, and Aquarius is getting a huge-ass wake-up call. Uh, you could be an upright Aquarius, a high-vibrational, low-vibrational Aquarius, some kind of Aquarius is getting a huge-ass wake-up call. Well... That this is huge ass organized crime. Hopefully, you contact whoever you guys are, where you're about to lose your home or homes or vehicle or vehicles off stolen money, which you shouldn't even have it anyways. Um, hopefully, you contact the Federal Trade Commission because that's organized crime. Um, Rico crime. That's Rico crime, Rico Act energy. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know, that's huge. So, hopefully, their ass gets indicted for Rico crime energy. Just saying, just saying. Um, I heard it's falling apart in a huge way and Aquarius is getting a huge ass wake up call. So you plug in how it resonates. Holy crap. This is about to cause a snowball effect in a huge way. This is about to cause a snowball effect in a huge way. It's about to cause a snowball effect in a huge way. So some kind of negative snowball effect, um, losing all, I heard there's about to be a surplus, um, not a surplus, but an influx of um, foreclosures and uh, repossessions of homes, vehicles, properties. A boat is significant in this as well. And a four-wheeler and a motorcycle. A boat, a four-wheeler and a motorcycle is significant in this too. So homes, vehicles, Four-wheeler, um, uh, four-wheeler ATV, a motorcycle, and a, um, and a, uh, what was the other one? Four-wheeler, motorcycle, and a, um, whatever the other one was. is significant in this. A lot of big ticket items, basically. Um, motorcycle, motorcycle. 
So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, but these two are about to go down. The Scorpio masculine and the Libra fem, they're about to go down. They're about to go down in huge ways after all this starts occurring. And it's going to start occurring fast. Okay, I heard um, they're about these two are about to go down in huge ways after all this starts occurring. And it's about to start occurring fast. So Eight of Wands energy is about to start occurring fast. Okay, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.